Hello and welcome to the Black Parade, a new Thief Gold fan mission campaign of 10 missions made over the last uh, six or seven years by uh, Foo Yard Industries, which is Dirk Bogan, Dr. Kubiak, Fire Mage, Marble Man, Schlock, Princilia, and Skaki. Many of those names, of course, you'll recognize from other FMs that uh, I have, well, that you've played or that I've played on this channel. Uh, unlike most campaigns, this one does have a, a whole intro video, so let's watch that. Twas done then, as it had been promised aforetime, that the power was taken by the elders and thrust under where the black stars hang, then placed within the highest tower which is said to rise amidst the ruin that is the Tomb of Empires. Translated fragment from the Book of Ash. So I'm guessing there's going to be undead in this mission. Probably lots of undead. <laughs> Quote from the Book of Ash. Cemetery. Some guy with a skull for a face. Looking necromantic. Okay. Let's begin. A time came when the profane taught us how to truly see. Blinded by our own sight, we did not anticipate the coming events. And with now restored vision, we see how important true observation is. Keeper Annals. I've never liked the city, but it's the only place I would ever call home. I was sold into forced labor when I was a kid, working in dilapidated manufactories and workshops. I guess I would have lived my whole life like that, had I not been good enough a sneak as to join the Guild of Thieves and Assassins a few years later, taking a few jobs ranging from street muggings to infiltrating posh estates. For the first time in my life, I felt I was good at something. I once stole a little trinket that reacts to light and I was able to go anywhere unnoticed with it. But I was careless, and that won me a seven-year exile to the ore mines and the mountain ranges up north. It could have been worse. I could have ended up in Crag's Cleft and lost a limb to the Hammerite's brand of justice. It took me years to escape, but now I'm back. Everything has changed. I recognize nothing. These old streets that once seemed familiar are now darker and more twisted. And by the looks of it, the city has become even more dangerous than it was before. The hammers prowl the streets like ravens looking for eyes to pluck. And rogues haunt the narrow back streets like rats. I need money, food, and a place to crash. So naturally, I need to find my old associate, Dahlquist. 
We used to operate from a small borough within Newmarket called White Bell, and I've heard that nowadays he runs an orphanage of some sort. White Bell is closed at night, so I'll have to sneak around and get past the gate that separates South Quarter and Newmarket. The police in South Quarter shouldn't bother me as long as I don't do anything illegal and go somewhere I'm not supposed to. But I should be wary of the coppers in White Bell. Thankfully, they're not too sharp, and they don't really venture too much in the darkest areas of the district, where most of White Bell's finest thugs live. Slipping by these guys unnoticed shouldn't be too difficult, and it'll be a nice training if I want to resume my life of crime. Did the Baron's dog's bodies think that my forced toil was going to put an end to my activity? I'll be back in business. Soon enough. Alright. One second, I'm just going to put the volume of the game back up. Because that briefing was over overcooked on volume. Uh, okay, return to the city. Find a way around the gate, separating South Quarter and New Market. And get into New Market's White Bell District. Once in White Bell, find your old associate, Sebastian Dalquist. He apparently runs an orphanage of some some sort somewhere there. Your pockets are in dire need of money and fast. Take the opportunity to grab some lucre on your way to Dalquist's hidey hole. Five hundred should make the point. If the last thing you want is more attention on yourself. Don't kill any innocents. We're popping up to experts. Eight fifty loot and don't kill anyone. Now, for the sake of uh, expediency and not too much scares coming, I mean, I don't know how hard it's going to be of evading guards, we'll see. But uh, if I need to kill a few guards, then I will kill a few guards. Let's go. Five hundred loot is not very much of a of a loot goal. Don't know what prices are like either. For equipment. Here we are. What have I got with me? Two healing potions, that's extremely generous to begin with. And a compass. I have a trusty sword, I've got a blackjack, good rogue then. Fifteen broadhead, eight waters. Three moss. And I assume we've got a map as well. Where's the border between White Bell and Newmarket? Ah, oh, that's the gate there. So this is Newmarket. This is White Bell on this side. Adrian's Bulwark. Probably worth a stop here in Forge Shop. Yeah, we might be able to uh, pick up some chess pieces. Down the gate, gatehouse is likely to be heavily guarded. These guards in South Quarter shouldn't be hostile unless provoked. There's a hammerite place here. Oh, there's a public works, I guess. Catamore Manor should be a lucrative score. Old factory abandoned. All right. We got a slightly zoomed in version. Beach, which is weird that it's it's weird that it's just zoomed in and cutting off the annotations as well. All right, well that's not too twisty a streak to begin with. Ills of mortality. <coughs> How's it going? Heel skin street, smokestack street. Phenomenon. Trials of several pagans in Lampire Hills. <coughs> Uh, 
Oh, Nania. Or the heinous mm. sin of self pollution. Oh my god. Is this a Victorian city? Everything is getting more and more expensive. It's becoming harder to live. Now I understand why coin fakers are so prevalent. I can't say this aloud, but I think all that is caused by the reminting that's been going on since we've gone to war. Yes, they're shams, with copper and lead mixed inside. Of course that'll make the price of gold go down. I guess even the Baron's purse is strained. He may be trying to whitewash it, but we're the ones that end up suffering for it. Bollocks. Because I'm not going to be able to pickpocket them now. Not for a few minutes, as they've seen me. Well, not for like 45 seconds. I guess we can follow them down the street looking innocuously at boxes. I miss the good old days where we had enough equipment to smash these guys up there. Ah, uh, well. That's what you get with that Baron and his stupid war. Seriously, we can't even get close to White Mountain anymore. Everybody knows it's full of rogues, and we can't even do our job. You really want to team up with these white ball losers? They don't even have uniforms. Oh, excuse me, mister. I do the least amount of work, and I just worry about my pay. I find myself having more consideration for my task than you do. I'd like to teach those tablets what real police brutality is, so they haunt another part of town. <laughs> At least this keeps me from ending up in a gutter. <coughs> Alright, well, during my quest to successfully pickpocket that person, we ran past several doors. Starting with the shop, of course, I guess. This is a business, not a charity. You touch it, you buy it. Well, I probably don't want any, any food, right? I could knock him out and steal it all, but... Is there any purpose in doing so? Oh well, I've got to use doors that are not doors. Great. Good, always a good bit of level design of... You have to go and look closely at every door to see if it's got... a door handle. I don't know, honest merchants, maybe they're not the people we should be robbing. Where does this alleyway go? I guess it's just here. <sighs> wow, he sounds tired. <clears throat> I'm trying to climb. It's like, uh. <laughs> well, no point in trying to open that gate. I need to find a way around it. Yeah, I'm not trying to open it. I'm noticing some somebody's not been cleaning out this uh, fountain, and the water crystals are building up. And that's good for me. I see this wooden beam here, and I'm immediately thinking rope arrows, but I don't have any rope arrows. Market store stand. What is this? Some kind of four-legged barrack? 
<laughs> Definitely sounds bright like, doesn't it? Well, it's not hostile, at least. That's not a door, that's a door texture, that's a door texture. Those ones are good. I guess we don't have much to do in this part of town. Man, look at those wooden balconies. Repair our instincts kicking in. So how many places look like I can get inside? I mean, I'm trying to zoom. I don't, I don't want to pull out my bow and uh, use that to zoom because that probably make the guards angry. It's like picking this lockwood, but maybe I've got a key for it. No. Hello, some public notices. N plus felonies committed and misadventures that happened within the ward of Silomaster's Fair and the proclamation made against the favourites of White Bell. Be it remembered that on Steam's day, right after the Mass of St. Aaron, Jerome the Coppermonger was arrested for selling one hundred and a half worth of copperware made of strange foreign metals. Joyce, wife of Dobbinon, shall be put on the cupping stool on the 27th of Sones for making a false charge against Marjorie Lagrange, Fruiteress, accusing her of practising pagan sorcery and palm reading. The infamous John Harsman was arrested and shall be transferred to Cla Cragscliffe Prison for disrespect and blasphemy against the goodly Father Rogerus of the Hammerite Church. Father Rogerus, oh my god. Uh. Okay, that's a name. For as much as many able-bodied men and women who should be working but have betaken themselves out of White Bell into the district of Runswick and went about begging there to the great damage of the commons and did waste various arms which would otherwise be given to many poor folks such as the blind, orphans, persons oppressed with old age and various other maladies shall hereby leave the district of Runswick between this very day and the month of Vendemia on behalf of our lord the baron whom the builder may preserve and bless. If any such folks should be found begging after the day aforesaid they shall be taken and put to the pillory for half a day the first time, shall remain in the stocks a whole day the second time, and shall be taken and shall remain in Pavelock for forty days the third time. Every lawman in the district of Brunswick is empowered to arrest such manner of folk. Signed, Thomas Marsham, Alderman of Silomaster's Fair Ward, in the twenty-fourth year of the reign of Baron Bresley. Roman numerals. Get some black parade law this Romans used to be around somewhere. Hear all, hear all, let it be known that the judgment of the miscreant Gilel Chiruli, guilty of the following hideous crimes, poisoning the most venerable Lord Phineas Grand Morden, and conspiracy against the Baron and the city, etc., has been passed, and the good judges of Old Dale have decided on his fate after a fair and just trial. Yes, I'm not the first one. <laughs> well, I, I remember when my mission, when I, when I used NC, a lot of people were there, like, what? What is that? And here's another etc. written out nicely. The miscreant shall be hanged till half death at Pavlock Square, Stone Market, on the first hammer's day of Vendemia, on the first toll of the afternoon of the afternoon. Then drawn to St. Edgar's Plaza, Stone Market, and therefore quartered till death follows. His head and quarters shall be displayed on a pike for fourteen days on Baron's Gate as a fair warning to the city's enemies. The honest folk of our fair city are encouraged to attend this event. Thusly declared and written, Captain Piersall of the Baron's Police. Oh, he's not always looking my way, is he? Oh, I don't have lockpicks. Shall I pick the lock? Well, not this time, I guess. Not this time. Can someone get um, this damn thing drunk in the garden to shut down. up? I'm trying to sleep in here. Public works key. Builder be praised. He <sighs> has stopped. Thank you, thank you. <sighs> um, 
What? You're not even going to throw me a tip? For my good works? My public sense of public duty is going to be enough? Is that, is that what you're saying? I'm not doing anything, just, just sorting out crates here on the street, you know. Making sure nobody's left anything uh, they shouldn't leave. Where are we? I guess here. I've well, got the key, obviously I'm meant to be in here, right? Ah, oh, there's another one. Gotta take it in case anyone uh, just you know would, might lose it somewhere. Hmm. I wonder if that's just possibly a way into the elder district. I actually, don't need two of these. Otherwise. This way, let's see where where we can get here. Yeah. Walking by this on the street won't see you. Can I take any of this food? No, this is glued. Glued food. <clears throat> of course, this is the uh, manor house that's marked as a lucrative prospect, right? Ketamol Manor, yes. The City Herald. Scarlet Leopard Colony found in Craftsman's Ward. The Baron's police took immediate actions after uncovering a leopard den hidden in several old cellars. While the lepers were easily surrounded, one of them managed to knock one of the officers restraining him out and escaped afterwards, said Captain Pearsall. The city's benevolent hero did not answer when we asked if this was somewhat related to a Blackbrook conspiracy, but he offered this advice before returning to Old Ale. Keep your eyes open for any suspicious characters that aren't revealing their faces. Let it be known that while Craftsman's ward is under lockdown, the thoroughfares of Shale Ridge are under heavy patrols and all are asked to follow the Emergentia Plague Laws while the fleeing leper is on the run. 1. Show your face clearly at all times. 2. Adhere to curfew. 3. Obey the Baron's police. 4. Don't turn to panic. 5. Report anything suspicious to the nearest watch stations. Here is another piece of advice offered to those who live in Shalebridge from Professor Walstrand. Leprosy has its origin in an accumulation of bad humours. Unless the excess of humoral fluid is evacuated by a bloodletting, it can cause great harm to the human body. But an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Never approach the sick without a scented mask, nor place yourself between the sick and a source of heat, as the heat attracts the unhealthy vapours. Take at least one ice-cold bath per week and eat well. Regular Trickster's Mustard Clisters are a must. Rumpleball results. Downlock North Quarter 1-0. Lampby Hills High Town 4-3. Downtown East Town 2-1. This week's Bear Bites. Beaton vs. Olaf 24-18. Crossout Goetze 
Bridget 3233. Nipson Dur on Baron's Day. That window's a little too narrow to slip through, I think. Yeah, maybe not. Unclear. Let's try it. I mean, I'm gonna get on this side. Can I squeeze through there? I guess so. Where would this be? This is going east? Oh, this is not. Hello. That's a ladder. A crystal on a stool, that's odd. <sighs> <Don't know. clears> Yourself. The mental sound sounds like he's like just just stood up out of bed and is stretching and a good place to hide. I mean, there's shadow here, which would have been probably okay, but I don't know which way he was going to walk, so I figured, uh, let's just deal with him a quick way. Do I want to look up this chimney? Do I want to waste a water arrow? Which I've got a lot. Looking up that chimney. Did you run Clifton and his men? You have the nerve of calling yourself master foreman of the Guild of Renovators, but you and your shoddy workers are nothing more than scoundrels and charlatans. What in the trickster's fiery pits were you doing here? You were supposed to find a way to stop the mould from haunting this old house, but already I can see wet spots on the wallpapers I had installed three weeks ago, and worst of all, they are already peeling in some places. This is unacceptable. You will not see any penny from me until you repair this odious error, or my name isn't Baptiste Hogard Catamol. So see this same uh, inkwell that was loot in the last mission of Blade, and it isn't loot here. It's like, is that loot? Are those loot? I've got a lot of water arrows, let's waste one. Mmm, what a beautiful chimney. Absolutely devoid of anything valuable, as chimneys tend to be, you know. That nice plant there. Screwing from the rafters, that's always good. <sighs> Let's lost some cheese out. Or the rats, maybe? No, it's not a rat. I mean, maybe it was looking for the cheese. But, yeah, it is. Hello. Alright, we're looking out over... Okay, this could get us some good places. There's more of this manor I haven't been in. Which doesn't seem to connect to the part I'm in. Oh no, I didn't go out the door. There's a door I didn't go through. Maybe I'm being silly. Big 
fancy door. There's the stairs. We know there's a guard downstairs. So I've not seen any sign of guards here upstairs. More food I can't take. Nice bathroom. Shame about the banner. Paper really is kind of fucked up later on that. I mean, maybe you need better ventilation in here, you know? I don't see any ventilation at all, not even a window, just, you know. I have frequent baths. Maybe you should stick to the once a week, like the, uh, the police recommendation. That's just what I get from. Stairway. Hello? <sighs> this again. This is gonna be exactly the same thing, right? With uh, the spider appearing when I take the cheese. No? Maybe they're trying to catch the spider. Maybe at least, maybe they thought it was here. Down there, and I don't know, he's sitting down. Okay, not shooting him, just zooming. Mm -hmm. He seems to be sitting in midair. I'm not sure. Uh, are you okay here? What was that grunting noise? Was that you holding the bow for too long? Because I put it away then. Way. Uh, he seems to be pretty bored doing his rounds. That's that's growing up. It's not an exciting night. It's not even any burglars to chase. Ugh. I thought about leaving him and sneaking past, but you know, we've already uh, knocked out somebody in this mansion and been seen by them, so. Potentially being seen by them. Oh, hang on. Is this where I've been? Is that the note on the table that I read? I think it is, right? That's the, the, the news. Yeah. It's good that Hume has arms as long as Garrett's. Very helpful for uh, closing doors and grabbing things. Most esteemed merchants of Brunswick, South Quarter, I write this letter to all of you in order to sincerely apologize for Bailiff Baudrillard's men's dreadful lack of commitment to the protection of our peaceful district and, most of all, your livelihood. Such acts of vandalism will not go unpunished, and I take full responsibility for last night's incident. There is a reason why Runswick is South Quarter's most prosperous borough, and I intend to uphold its glorious reputation. 
Thus, I have decided, with the blessing of our good Lord Mayor, the noble Viscount Baldry, to close the gate between Runswick and Whitebell from the 11th toll of the bell until Cockcrow, taking effect immediately. Policemen have been severely reprimanded and have received order to sternly punish any trespasser caught during the night. I also intend to have my finest workers repair the damage of Whitebell vermin caused to your shops and your fine items. I remain your humble servant, Luther Porden Esquire, Burgomaster of Runswick. Nice use of new dark decals to put a seal on the on the document. Okay. How are we doing look wise? 157, wow. This is the front doors. Okay, so I think we're done with this. Hang on. Should be a lucrative score. We've got 157 and not all of that came from this mansion. That's not lucrative. Ah, getting this 500 gold worth might be uh, a lot more difficult than things seemed at first. Now this was the, which was the one that had the, the window, external window. It was a bedroom, wasn't it? Oh, it's up here. Hello, there's a banner I haven't dropped down. It's a nice table. There we go. Thus ends all evil banners. Don't even look at this painting. It's uh. Oops. I guess that's. I don't know his dearly about to pass and wife or something. Oh wait, this is a garden. Hmm. <gasps> right, there's a window here. That gave me an opportunity to walk over to another window that I really wanted to delay. Nice, they've got different metal footstep sounds. Oh, that's a new pipe join model. I don't think I've seen that before. Who lives here? So that's a that's a custom tapestry, right? That's the texture was one that's in the stock set, but it was a terrain texture, not a model texture. Okay, a cucumber. Is that worth breaking in for? No, but oh wow, this it's not look very safe there. Crystal on a shelf? Oh, where did this take us? Take it in. Save before ladders. Is that just the light misbehaving or what? Oh, some machinery in there. Oh, that's a slow door. Is this a public works place? It's kind of, kind of like a public work place. Oh, this might be the abandoned factory. That would make sense. Ah. Oh. That looks, uh, not very lively. This looks valuable, though. That was worth 
50, I think? We're on 157? Ugh. Ruined furniture. Who, who was that before? Whatever happened to him? Oh, that's the hat. Great. This factory is supposed to be abandoned. Oh, there was some arrows in those stairs. Hmm. It doesn't seem to have anything else of value for me, and it doesn't seem to have another way in or out that I can see. Oh wait, no, there is. I climb on top of that machinery. There's another. There's another great. <gasps> Heading west. So I might be coming out to Puget Street. down but maybe I want to be quiet. Oh there's metal under under my feet. If I'm gonna be quiet, I need to be aware of that. What was that noise? from something. There they go again. So I could climb on these beams, but they look like they're metal. Is there a reason to do so? Big clang is. Oh no, great. <gasps> Junk they keep in these factories. Oh, what have we got down here? I'm just stashing something. Grimshaw stands no chance with the Duchess. His heart might be lit with love, but the only thing she desires is the cold touch of money. Gunnin and I were thinking we'd avoid him, yet another humiliation by filching the bony and bars he was thinking of offering her. Forget about Gilderoy this time. He doesn't dare spit his coin on anything remotely suspicious ever since the new burgomaster was appointed. They say the fat bastard who runs that orphanage knows some guys who may know some other guys who might know some people who could fence the stuff for a good price. Gather some information, but in the meantime the vase doesn't get out of here. Yes, here's a small bonus from the scratty belled arm who delivers firewood. She started weeping when I told her the classic story of my brat who got his fingers eaten by a pig, and she gave me some yenips to buy him some honey cakes and biscuits. The bigger the lie, the better the reward. Don't spend everything on liquors, and keep some for Crueler and his jacker blades. That should make them calm down the next time they look for someone to harass. Well, I'm afraid you're not going to be uh, fencing any of that <gasps> stuff. <sighs> I think I might want to go out this window. I'm glad to see White Bell hasn't changed much. It's still a lair for knaves and rogues like me. 
rather than this window. <sighs> Still a lamp and names and rogues. Something moved there. Too much coffees this morning. I'm twitchy as hell. Seems clear. You must be twitchy. Where are we? We just came south from somewhere. I guess we should be looking at this map now. When we kind of came out of here, I think. Well, nothing I can see seems to line with anything I can see. Maybe when I get a better view of the street, I can position myself better. Keep asking stupid questions. What was that? <laughs> was there a conversation going on I missed? <coughs> Seems to come out of nowhere. Someone's saying something about asking stupid questions. I kind of want to move. Just stopping and standing on that. Right. Attention, men! A lockdown is now in effect in the neighboring district of White Bell. Passage to White Bell and New Market through this gate is prohibited after the 11th toll of the bell. Feel free to beat any trespassers. We are way behind our quotas, and the bailiff is starting to get impatient. Lieutenant Herman. I don't have lockpicks. I have not seen anybody with a, uh, a key. Who is there? <laughs> is someone there? Wow. There's a key. <laughs> like, oh, is someone there? The door just, just started closing as I opened it. Weird. We've got stairs going down. Is this the gatehouse? Is that where we are? Where was I when he made his comment about White Bell? I don't know, because. Okay, that's a balcony on the facing east. This doesn't seem to match up with anything I can see on my map. <sighs> North and east. Suspicious or something, it seems. What's with the lockdown? Dunno. Nobody tells me anything. Just that we're on the lookout for some thugs. Some thugs? I know where they are, and they're not near this gate. Why aren't we on the quarter prop? Hey, come on. Who doesn't? Oh, wait, do go in there. Don't want to find myself at the end of a sword that's not mine. Uh, I'll see you later at the alehouse anyway. Another talking going on over that, which is 
I could not follow the other conversation and this one, so... Oh. Weird, huh? So this is the gatehouse. This is definitely the gatehouse. So we're here. He hangs out in the garden there. Eh? coming this way. And one thing I do know about this mission from the readme is they no they notice you if they walk into you. <laughs> so that was close. You, you might still notice me as he turns around. Stop! Yeah, he did. This just means. More inconvenience, I guess. <sighs> well, lots of water arrows are not much, not a great deal of use for them so far. Who's this taffer? <sighs> Keep the guard's key, maybe it's good for more than the chest. It's going west. I heard some other feet, and I'm just wondering if it's over in here or not, whether this is a safe place to leave the body. Seems clear. Let's get him into a dark corner. Oh, this is the gate. Okay. Nice. Can't open it though. Big red lever that doesn't work. And there's another place to be in there that I can't access. On this side. So I guess that would take me out to uh, to here somewhere. I don't remember seeing a door, but I guess this other gate. Where go? Hang on. I thought I was coming out here. Pub. <coughs> yes, that's the pub. Okay, now we're back in back in the starting area. I'm... Oh right, because I came in here, I didn't explore this street at all, so I didn't recognize it. Let's see. Right, that's the manor, that's where we broke in. And well, that's where the singing drunk was. Can't believe that stingy bastard didn't give me anything for, uh, for the sleeping medicine I offered him. Can I climb the vines? No. Can I climb the tree? <sighs> and the wall? Sort of. I get the distance and angle right, so then that's manageable. If I don't, the overhang makes it very hard. There we go. 
<sighs> Should I bang on your windows and wake you up again? Or not? What would be the point? Balduke and Cherblo. Balduke and Cherblo is like they've got. Is that an enormous sign? Who are these people? It's definitely. Oh, that walkway up there must be one of the ones I was at, right? Clanking noises from there, or what? I don't know, it's very weird. They sound like they're coming from where I'm standing. Clear out of here, bro. This is no place for you. I'm not there, I'm miles away. Go to the public works. Go for a swim in here and see where this takes us. Ooh, ouch. I wish the engine wouldn't do that. Beautiful accumulations of sludge. I don't suppose there's any way out on this room now. Oh, he just keeps swimming. Feels very uh, <sighs> reminiscent of the entrance to Baffords. I assume that's on purpose. <sighs> Big boulder there. There's some basement or other. boxes nicely. Getting footsteps faintly. What is that? So it's a uh, uh, dinosaur turd. Yay, for angled ladders! I mean, you can't mantle off some. Alright, I think we're back in, uh, yeah, it's at Pugger Street. This is White Bill again. Yes. The guards here are not going to be friendly then. Are you hearing a guard above me, or? No, I'm hearing that guy. Pugger Street, so this is this, I'm right here. So that's where the works comes out. More water crystals. I'm hearing 
concrete from within here. Well, they're not coming closer. That is one hell of a fancy roof for a tiny place like this. on the street out there of course. No, these feet do seem closer. <laughs> Hang on, have I been here? This is this is yes, this is a gas station again. Okay. I can't remember which bits of this guard station I've been. That's the chest that was unlocked with the guard's key, right? Yeah. Don't make me come knock you out. So I haven't been... God, you almost walked into me. Well, I guess I'm gonna knock you out. I don't really have a safe place to leave bodies, so. though. It's about as safe as it's gonna get. Guards are better for now. This place is just feeling a little, a little cramped and a little busy. Let's take that key back. I don't think it's the key that I need. Right, so I came out this way and went in that door, I think. Right. What did it go this way? No, I have not been here, that's for sure. Not the goblet. Cool. You wouldn't believe what I saw just then. A small group of people was making a racket under the gate from Runswick to Newmarket. We should really find it a name. And we descended to investigate. Normally we'd beat these guys who tried to get the white girl, but these people were hammers. And they were really well armed, which is weird. They even had a preacher with them. You know, these lunatics with light rods? They explained they were going to smite the heathens and blah blah blah. Where do they think they are? If White Bell isn't the central arse of the city, I don't know what is. No amount of hammers will change that. Elray. Eight from Runswick to Newmarket. Newmarket's up here, but where is... Runswick? Well, oh, this is Runswick. I'm confused. Whatever. Runswick is through there. Okay. So this is Runswick down here. This is White Bell. Where's the gate from Runswick to Newmarket then? I don't I'm confused then. What's the gate from Runswick to White Bell? Unless this whole White Bell is just a part of Newmarket, in which case, why would you describe the gate you're at? as the gate from Runswick to Newmarket. I wouldn't believe what I saw just then, just when. Ah, oh, it's a weird, a weird, readable. Not the weirdest I've ever seen in Thief does. Right. That's the way I went before. God, I... <sighs> and that's where the thing comes out. Got the plant pot. 
<sighs> there was nothing else up there, just flowers. One never knows. I mean, it might be on this one, but probably not, right? It's probably gonna be dangerous. Still nothing. Okay, I have not been upstairs. I guess I should go upstairs. Saw something. Nope. <clears throat> Someone there? Well, yes, but they're kind of unconscious now. That was... <sighs> Who's yelling come out and fight me? Why? I don't know. Damn. Lost him. What was that him? Come back out here, you tapper! So he ran into the body, but only after he got out of the door? That's... A little odd. Alright. Hello? Flash bombs could be useful. Money will be useful. I think we got another incursion from White Bill last night. A boxman was trying to paint Mr. Catamull's door, so I gave him a chase and he ended up falling to his death through a derelict flight of stairs. Judging by his foul odour, he may have taken the sewer route. I think sending Selman and Wallen to investigate would be wise, and someone should remind this dense grease hand that his job is to stay in these sewers and not spend his nights drinking at the tavern by the court. Maybe we should send a letter to the quill pushers or the public works on the matter. Bottom line is, we can't have white belt vermin breaking into Brunswick like that, especially with the lockdown and the bailiff's orders. Now here's the strange thing, he was carrying flash bombs and good lockpicks. That kind of material is way too expensive for white belt gallow bait. The lockpicks are broken beyond repair, but the flash bombs are still in shape. I put the corpse under the stairs in the courtyard if you want to investigate. I'm keeping the flash bombs for myself. I always wanted to have some of these anyway. One last thing. The lieutenant doesn't need to know about this. All he's going to do is throw a tantrum like a child and double our already doubled watch hours. I have enough of that. So you better keep your mouth shut. Sergeant Flannery. That letter to him or from him? Because he's got the flash bombs right here. Keeping the flash bombs for himself, or did he give them away? Where did this guy go? Oh, that's not the door. Well, there he is again. Oh, that's the other door he's going out. Right. That makes sense. Lord Buckethead. They look Lord Buckethead as, as the next Baron. Alright, you guys can stay there. Hello, somebody's keeping some... Uh, Chinese for himself here. Guess Elroy isn't exactly what you'd call a smart chap. You've helped me without asking questions, so I'll reveal my little secret. I've been stealing his wages for a month now, as a prank, and I cannot contain my laughter anymore when he looks at me and says, I wonder where my money has gone. By the tricks of surely my wages cannot vanish just like that. It's almost the end of the month, so we'll do our usual routine. I'm not sure when and how this is going to end, but this is way too funny. Your friend, Blas. Well... This is how it's going to end. Me taking the money. Oh. Oh, great. Okay. 
Okay, let's test something. Yes, we get healing from food. Okay. Very un thiefy style. Well, it's very thief 2 style, I suppose. Oh my god, there's an open window up there. Shot in the wind. What's going on over there? I don't know, but the dogs aren't too happy about it. Sleep. Okay. Where are we? We just came kind of south-ish from the gate, so I guess I'm still in this. In here somewhere? Not a door. Not a door. Also not a door. That one's a door, you can tell the light leaks around it. That's a door. Does it have a door? No, it does. That's a door. Okay. North, west, or south? Let's go south first. Oh, jeez. Carolyn! And here I thought my transfer to South Dakota would be sweet and painless. Of all the men I've worked with, the bunch of slobs I'm commanding here are the worst of the worst. All they do is drink all night long while they're supposed to be on duty. A few really angry guys from White Belt came to Runswick and started messing things up while I were playing cards. And the good for nothing bailiff blamed it on me. They also have the nerves to tell me that they categorically refuse to climb the station's wooden staircase because it looks uneven and dangerous. Lazy cretins. It's true these stairs have seen better days, but they look fine to me. I wish I could return to Downlock. Now the peeps we both commanded were a bunch of, were a sharp bunch. H. Battle axe. A small, a small. Bone in a bowl, I guess he has a dog there. Oh, there's two small flash bombs. No, what are these? They're not flash bombs. A note about smoke bombs. Sir, I found them smoking bombs I told you about. As I said to you last time, they're damn good for crowd control. Throw one of these bad boys in a group of plebs and they'll all be gasping for air in no time, in addition to being slowed down quite a lot. Now, my brother Patrick also told me that he uses them sometimes to get rid of all the tapping spiders, rats, and seals he has in his house. I tell him a hundred times to clean his place, but he's too lazy for that. Anyhow, show these to the bailiff, and hopefully he'll let us have some fun next time the brigands from White Bell try their luck in outer. Nigel. I don't think I need to keep the note. Alright, well, we've got smoke bombs, and I do not have a hotkey for them. I might look at finding that. Uh... Right, because I've got flash bombs on hockey, of course. A quick selection. But the smoke bombs are just... Oh, they're... Where, are, where are, are, even are they in the sort of order? Possibly somewhat random. Okay. West. West is another staircase. How many staircases does this place have? Well, this is not the rickety wooden one. Have I been down? It feels like this is going to be going somewhere where I've already been, right? No? Well, not immediately. Well, 
what is something behind here? More water, water, why is why are the water crystals just in all these random places? Oop. Clicking on that sound. That has not been uh Oh yes, okay. okay. I've seen that that's in here, right, that's the gate inside the gatehouse. North go. It's a fancier door. There's another guard out here somewhere. Or up here, I suppose. I don't think I can safely mantle that. I'm not 100 sure. Might be okay, but the angle. Well, the wall is flat. The ladder is angled. Gatehouse key, okay. That'll be the door we didn't unlock before. not to do. I'm not sure how he saw me there, but he did. Ah, he's hiding a mine? Bailiff! By my account, this is the second missive you have received, requesting that my men are granted access to the battlements of Brunswick, and the first from my estate that has needed such a follow-up. Each steward of the six sections whom my underlings approached hitherto understood their position as facilitators, not bulwarks. I'm not accustomed to consulting the lay authority for favours myself. I have more to call upon than I can count, for sure, but it is rare that my needs are not known and met in advance. See that I receive permission before the next moon, and you will not dread the next visit you receive from Commissioner Morton. Antonin de Wall. <sighs> de Wall's one of the wardens of the city, right? Are these valuable? I don't look it. I guess they're supposed to be silver. Can't tell them, really tell them apart from those ones. Great. City Tribune. The Dayport renovations have officially begun. They are headed by a desire to modernize Dayport's districts and wards, and also to showcase the city's grandeur to foreign sailors and merchants navigating the Elmer Ocean. The Baron's great project is one of proportions never seen before. Indeed, the Baron and his architects aim to demolish more than half of Dayport's narrow streets and serpentine alleyways to replace them with vast avenues. One of which, the Baron's Way, will run east to west and will continue all the way to Whitebridge and downtown. Willing to give Dayport a brand new aesthetic, the Baron has solicited the services of renowned Bonian architects Volodymyr Stepanov and Fedor Solovy. While a small portion of the city council voted against, most were ecstatic at the prospect of these grand renovations. Your humble servant will follow this project with great attention and report to the best of her ability. More on page 8. Attacks continue along Hag Hill Forest. With most of the Baron's forces out on the battlefield and his police only present in the city and neighbouring vessel towns and villages, many of the roads running across the heartland fall prey to highwaymen and other knaves looking for easy plunder. Hack Hill Forest has become a fertile ground for these criminals and many merchants and travellers have been attacked these past two months. The situation has become so alarming that the Hammerite patrols along the roads have been reinforced threefold. This prestigious paper advises its dear readers to avoid the roads crossing Hack Hill Forest and to travel along the coast instead. More on page 16. 
this prestigious paper which the bailiff uses for wiping his arse. Okay, well, um... I just saw the time. Well, let's deal with these banners. Won't have anything. And I guess... Well, I was going to say I could read one more thing, but no, you know what? It's well past the hour. So I'm going to end the episode here, and we'll uh, read this next time, you know? And steal this goblet next time. Save it as a treat. See you then.